Doug, somebody writes in to ask this question, this very pointed question. Are you really a young earth creationist? <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> Are we <going? laughs> Moving on. <clears throat> so, um, I have sometimes wondered why it took so long. Right. For somebody uh, to ask that? No, why it took six days. Why, did, oh. <laughs> <laughs> why, why didn't God just say blammo and there, there everything was? So you feel uh, like six days is a compromise? Yeah, six days is kind of pushing it. Uh, well, actually, it, uh, it's revealed as being done in six days. And uh, basically, it's a math problem. It's a, it's a basic math problem. Um, and I think because we're told the ages, we're given a chronology of mm -hmm. uh, so and so was this age when this son was born. So even if you have gaps in the genealogy, you know where a grandfather is reckoned. Even if you had yeah. something like that, it doesn't alter the math. Okay. Uh, and so uh, humanity is—it's uh, a uh, young humanity. Yeah. Um, the gospel rides on it, uh, us being. Uh, the gospel rides on humanity being young mm -hmm. uh, because without a literal historical Adam, we have no doctrinal foundation for the work of the last Adam. Um, and we have no need for the work of the last Adam because you have, you've, you've started to monkey with the doctrine of sin. Death doesn't apparently come from sin. Death doesn't come from sin. And uh, there, there are a host of problems. And the reason with, there, there are a host of problems with uh, old Earth creation, but not as many as with theistic evolution. Okay, uh, it's, uh, the farther out you go, you uh -huh. know, atheistic evolution is incoherent. Theistic evolution makes it makes the whole thing work in terms of power uh -huh. and design, but it it brings into question our theodicy, our our understanding of who God is, mm -hmm. because if God used evolution to create as his yeah. instrument of creation, then that means death is not an enemy. Yeah. D death is um, the thing that produced Adam. Okay. So you have to look at tens of millions of years and of nature red in tooth and claw. Mm -hmm. You have to look at millions of years of dinosaurs falling into tar pits, uh, sentient animals with central nervous systems experiencing millions of years of excruciating pain uh -huh. as they hunt and and uh, die and disease and all of that because the fossil graveyards are graveyards mm -hmm. right you know um, so what you have to do is have you have to have God looking down on that uh -huh. and saying behold it is very good right. so now death's not an enemy uh -huh. so what did Jesus come to do um, and if death is not an enemy, then are we going to be allowed to torture puppies in heaven? Right. Right. <laughs> right. Now, that might yeah. seem like an odd question. <laughs> yeah. But why not? Get, it follows. If, if it follows. Yeah. If, if this is good, if, this, if God says um, this form of creating mm -hmm. um, is uh, very good, if, if he likes it, uh -huh. then why wouldn't he continue to like it? Yeah. Right, and so in the old Earth, um, in theistic evolution, death produces Adam. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, in young Earth creationism, uh, a straightforward reading of the account, Adam produces death. So Adam is the one who introduced death by okay. his disobedience. Uh, in theistic evolution, death is the good instrument that God used to bring about the creation, and all of a sudden. All, all sorts of other doctrines are out of joint. Yeah. So, so the issue is not a stopwatch issue. Um, if, we, if we were embroiled in a, a debate over whether God created everything out of nothing 6,000 years ago or 6 million years ago, and evolution <clears throat> weren't in the picture, mm -hmm. and it were simply a, a, a debate over the decimal point in Hebrew, uh -huh. If that's the only thing was, well, who cares? I, yeah. I, I don't care. I think there's another thing in this question. I mean, the way it's phrased, the, the word really, are you really a young earth creationist? Right. There's a little bit, well, it's not a little bit. There's a, there's a whole lot of, whenever you hit this subject, there's a whole lot of, um, you can't be serious. Right. Like, like you, you, can't, you can't possibly right. uh, be so backwards as to hold something like that. I mean, why is it important for us to not get 
phased by that sort of maneuver because I think it happens all the time. Yeah, because truth, theological truth, is not attained by responding to the cool shame. Neither is scientific truth accomplished by responding to the cool right. shame. Uh, you you seem educated. You seem like you've been to school. You seem like you've got a head on your shoulders. Are you really a young earth creationist, you, uh -huh. bo you bozo? Uh -huh. um, and that sort of thing, uh, every theologian and every pastor, every Christian worth his salt should have th that kind of uh, backslap um, just bounce off him. Yeah. We, we should absolutely not care. So whatever the Bible teaches, that's what I hold. Uh -huh. Now, the um, young earth creation is has this advantage. Uh, it's got the same advantage that Calvinism does. Mm -hmm. and, and that is, uh, it gives you, it presents you with a God who is an in-your-face God. Mm -hmm. All right. He's right here. If we put God's activity aeons in the distance, in the distant past, we can kind of forget that he did it. We, right. we can sort of conduct our own uh, business, conduct our own affairs. He's more of a sentiment. He, than... Yeah, and it's basically, it's a quasi-deism. Uh -huh. All right, let's get God out of the picture, or at least get him to stand at the back of the stage. Mm. Or, you know, we acknowledge him, sort of. But young earth creation, the, the fundamentalists and the Calvinists and the young earth creationists have this going for them. God is here. God, mm -hmm. is, we're, we have to deal with him. Great. He, you know, he made that tree. <laughs> right. I've found in um, NSA, you know, we have the six day creation is in the statement of faith. Right. And that's one of the really interesting things for sorting out faculty candidates. Right. Um, because you know whether somebody's susceptible to the cool shame or right. not, because you can't get through higher education. You can't get to a PhD holding to six day creation right. while being influenced by that. Right. That's right. <laughs> Thanks. Before I go today, I want to tell you about a new documentary that Canon is releasing from my daughter, Rebecca Merkel. It is called Eve in Exile, and it comes out on May 6th. Eve in Exile is a movie about the failure of feminism and the future of femininity. Be sure to check it out exclusively on Canon Plus. Here's a quick look. What does it mean to be a woman? Apparently nothing at all. Can you provide a definition for the word woman? I can't. So I'm not a biologist. Of Our culture hates the idea of boundaries. We just want there to be no rules, no lines, no definitions. As a woman, what is that? What's to each their own? We're Christian women, and we want to live in the way God told us to. But we're looking out over this current playing field and wondering where on earth we are supposed to stand. Our daughters are born into the ruins of what used to be a Christian nation, and we are raising them in the wreckage of the West. What does obedience look like in this madhouse?